Hey everybody, so I'm in Florida today, just outside of the town of Denellen, not far from the uh, Marion County Airport. And I'm trekking through the swamps in the Florida woods today, looking for something very unfortunate. I'm looking for a plane that had crashed in the woods here in 2014 and sat undiscovered for six months. So the plane crashed in a heavily wooded area, which made it extremely difficult to locate. In fact, there were extensive searches by the Civil Air Patrol and by state and local agencies. But after a few weeks, they found nothing and called off the search. All right, I found it. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. This is very surreal. think that this plane and Theodore Weiss sat here in this woods for six months without anybody knowing he was here. Man, that's sad. So on April 5th, 2014, Theodore took off from the Marion County Airport right here in Denellen. His destination was Zephyr Hills Municipal Airport after two days, it was reported that he was missing. So the Civil Air Patrol and local and state agencies began search operations. They searched an estimated 40,000 acres from Denellen to Zephyr Hills, but came up empty. And after a few weeks, they called off the search. And you know, a ton of aerial searches were performed even in this area, but this canopy here is so thick and the woods is so thick that nobody could find the plane. Reports from the FAA said that the emergency locator transmitter signal was never received and that the plane was flying below radar coverage, so they really had no way of knowing where this plane was. It wasn't until six months later that a man happened to be walking through this woods and came across this plane and Theodore Weiss. And everything that I've read online about Theodore was that he was a very experienced pilot. He had a lot of flight hours, about over 2,000 hours according to his son. And he had a passion for flying and flying experimental aircraft. So I think that the Marion County Airport, which is where Theodore took off from, is about two miles northeast that way. So he didn't get very far, only about two miles or so. From what I've read, I don't think they know exactly why theater crashed. But I think there was some investigation about the engine and that there was some issues with the engine. But who knows? You can see some items are left behind. The airport directory, 2014. Here's the fuel tank. Now, if you're looking for more information about Theodore Weiss or this plane, you can just search N229P online, just Google that, and a ton of information shows up about the accident and the plane itself and Theodore. All right, it's starting to get late, so I'm gonna head back. I hope that whoever comes here, comes across this, treats this with uh, respect and dignity. It's a sad situation.